Michael, welcome to Charlton. How does it feel to be at the club? Yeah, it feels great. Uh, I've got to say, um, you know, first day um, can be many things really um, chaotic, which it has been a little bit. You can imagine, feel like I've been pulled from pillar to post a little bit. Um, but no, it's exciting. It's, ex it's, it's exciting for me as it probably is the players because the players get an opportunity to almost have a, you know, a clean slate, a fresh start. Um, and I think today sort of proved what I, I wanted to prove for myself, that the fire was well and truly still in the belly and, you know, really looking forward to, the, you know, the future. And you've been shown round the training ground this morning and you've taken your first session. How have you found it? It was good. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a fantastic facility. Um, very different to how I remember it last time I was here, if I'm being honest. It was just the, the old building, so, so that's been a, a real pleasant surprise. Um, and the lads have responded well today. You know, we've worked hard. Um, obviously, we've got the opportunity to have a full week next week without actually having the game tomorrow. Um, so they, they, they'll deserve their, their, their two days, their weekend, because um, you know, their physical output today was tough. And it was a thorough recruitment process. What impressed you about Charlton? Lots of things. I think the, the, the drive and the ambition, obviously, of the board um, was pretty clear and pretty evident straight away. Um, there's a, you know, like I say, that through them and the owners, there's a clear, um, I suppose, and, and I'm careful using this word because a lot of people use it in terms of project. There is a clear, genuine project. You can tell that. Um, and I wanted to be a part of it. And very, very quickly, um, you know, during the interview process, um, I bought into what they wanted to do and how they see the club going forward. And it was very, very clear from really early on that, you know, I was desperate to make sure that I was the one that impressed them to do that. What are you hoping to achieve in your time at the club? Uh, well, obviously, developing players has always been a big part of my, my career anyway. So whether, you know, me taking a role as a youth team coach or actually being sort of out there uh, as a first team manager, um, there's a big, big difference because ultimately you've got to be brave enough and have put players in situations that uh, one makes it difficult for them, but at the same time they feel comfort enough to, comfortable enough to produce what they're capable of doing. And um, so, you know, developing the young talent that they've got here, the academy is an incredible academy. Um, help them to do that, have success. What does success look like? Well, clearly, you know, the club wants to be competing in the championship, so that's a you know a key thing for us to do. I want to be the person that you know allows them to do that and, and, and gets them to do that. Um, but I think first and foremost, I think that you know I'm, we've got some cr incredible supporters. I've had some tough times coming you know to the valley and uh, dealing with tough games um, over the years as, a, as an opposition manager, um, and I want the fans to have something to really um, hang on to, and I think we've got enough ability in the group. And you touched on it briefly there, but what is your assessment of the current playing squad? Again, I think if anyone was w watching us as a group, I think very, very clear, they'd probably see how strong we are in possession and with the ball. And there's a lot of players who can deal with the ball, manipulate the ball, carry the ball up the pitch. Um, I think there's just a couple of tweaks that we certainly need to address early doors. You know, I want us and I need us to be much better set plays you know in both ends of the pitch both boxes um we need to be more aggressive um certainly out of possession on on the turnover um be a little bit more cuter a little bit more organized um and that almost give us a little bit of a sort of starting starting block to to move and, and and move things forward quickly how do you want your charlton team to play well i've always i've always had a i like to think a, a brand of football that you know got people out of their seats and you know, I want to be a possession-based team without the amount of passes that some teams do when they call themselves a possession-based team. You know, I'm not looking to get seven, eight hundred passes a game. It's not my style. It's not our work. I want us to dominate the ball, but do it in the right way. Always looking to play forward. Always looking to be brave and and um, you know, getting in behind the opposition. Um, I think we've got a team that are athletic enough, athletic enough to do that. Um, they just need a little bit of guidance, which I hope to be able to give them. You've taken a young squad to promotion with Oxford and a League One playoff final with Lincoln as well. How will those experiences help you now you're here at Charlton? 
Yeah, massively, and you know, in, in those sort of sort of two squads, it was very similar to to, to what I've sort of picked the reins up here at Charlton in terms of heavy heavily reliant on young players um, and talented players that have either come through the academy at the club at that time or come from other people's academies. Um, I could say you you. you don't always get success if you have too many at, uh, at, two one, uh, at one time. But um, I think, like I say, we've like one or two experienced players that are in the group already um, with the experience that I can sort of bring to knowing what it takes to either get a promotion or get very, very close to a promotion. Hopefully that will be enough for, for these players to take it on board. You've got a fair few familiar faces here already. How much does that help when you come into a new environment? Yeah, it does massively. Uh, it, like they almost act as like a catalyst, you know, to, to get the messages and the, and the things that you want um, to come across. Um, you know, your patterns of play, how you work on a day-to-day -day basis, because they've sort of been there, done it and worked with it, worked on it with me. Um, it makes my job that little bit easier going forward. Um, so um, I'll sort of rely on them and put a little bit of faith in them to give me a little bit more of a, uh, of an understanding as the group, you know, early on in my, in, in my time here. We've got just over a week until we travel to Stevenage. What are you hoping to get from, from your first week on the training ground? Just almost simple messaging is going to be going to be really important because um, it's, it's hard to hit the ground running sometimes. Um, but that's what everybody's looking, looking to do is it coming into a place for the first time and early doors. But simple messaging be brave, um, but probably more than ever is like make sure that you know when we go into a game, nobody out outworks us. No one's going to have more energy and uh, athleticism, and um, I think that's something I do believe that we we're capable of doing. Um, and what it does, obviously, you know, with us not having a game, I get the opportunity to have a look at Stevenage tomorrow on their own patch and and see what they're about. Finally, what's your message to Charlton fans? Um, Loads, really, and I'll try and keep it as short as, it, as I possibly can, but I, I just want them to have the opportunity uh, to see a team that um, is predominantly, you know, Charlton-based players coming through the academy, like I said, that they can be proud of. They can turn up every Saturday, every Tuesday, whenever it may be, and actually genuinely want to get behind the players because they see an effort and a determination to try and do well. And if we can get a little bit of luck to go with that and have them type of attributes, we won't be that far away.